guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So this is a lesson one of our GitHub Jobs API. And in this lesson, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your project and how to get started. So we're, go, uh, we're going to set up, we're going to do initial setup for your project and we're going to create UI collection view controller and configure your UI collection view controller as well as prepare a class uh, for your detail uh, page um, view controller where you can display details. So we're not going to lay out any UI today, which is going to, uh, well, we're going to lay out initial UI today, but we're going to work on the details in the next lesson and we're in the next lessons. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, when you open your Xcode, uh, when you open your Xcode, you select a single view app and you um, press continue. So uh, for your name um, on the project, you can name whatever you want. I'm going to name it GitHub Jobs API, API course. So and um, for language, we're going to do Swift and for user interface, we're going to select storyboard however we're not gonna use storyboards almost at all like well we there is one instance when we use storyboard but other than that we're not gonna use storyboards at all so um uh, feel free to unselect ui tests and unit tests because we're not gonna go over ui tests and unit tests however if you want to if you want to do your UI test or unit test, feel free to leave them on. So, but if you just want to follow, follow the course to make your product more cleaner and just don't include things that you have no intention to use. So we press next. And now like you can, uh, uh, now you can select uh, the in directory like so I created a github repo for that where I will share my code with you so you can follow along download the code and if you're if you're stuck you can utilize that code so uh, you go uh, yeah okay uh, Create. So create. Uh, so here, um, what we're gonna do, like main interface, we're going to just delete that and leave it blank. So if you go to your info p list. Go to your info p list and you search for main and like you see the storyboard main. We're going to delete that because we're not gonna use main storyboard and we're gonna delete main storyboards because as I said, we are not going to use storyboards at all in this project. So, but uh, if we're not going to use storyboards, uh, we need to set up our scene uh, delegate for uh, for this for this project. So uh, I know I have a piece of code prepared for you. So um, I'm gonna just like I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna. Um, um, I'm gonna copy and paste it. Uh, 
Okay, copy. Um, so we're going to delete that. Uh, I'm going to paste my code here. Um, so uh, yeah, and it will and, uh, and it won't compile. So uh, let's go to your um, let's go to your uh, view controller and rename it. We're going to rename it like as a main view controller and UI collect my collection view controller. So I have. I I have um, a main controller, main controller, so error should go away. Uh, and this file, we're going to rename that too. So if we're going to just build it. So the code should compile. The build is success. The build was successful. So let me walk you through this code. Um, so we're setting up the window. So and we're setting up the window frame to uh, coordinate space bound. So window is basically the whole uh, the whole UI, uh, the the whole space that you see on your device. So this is your window window scene. It's a window uh, win. Uh, equals window scene that we created or like right here and we select a, a root controller and for root controller uh, I use UI navigation controller so this is really important when you create your app if you plan on navigating your user through, dif uh, through different screens I highly recommend you to uh, utilize UI navigation controller. So, if I uh, if I just delete it and you type UI navigation controller and UI navigation controller has root controller and this root controller is main uh, main controller. Uh, make out of uh, out of, uh, uh, make key uh, and visible so um, so basically this code will allow you to you like to build your interface uh, to build your UI in code uh, so uh, this is the initial setup uh, let's go and build our UI and just just as a reminder so just as a reminder uh, I'm gonna build uh, the initial app that we uh, that we have here and this is uh, our initial app and uh, you can have jobs and let's type software so and like th this is gonna be our app so like our idea is our goal is to build something like it so uh, with this kind of UI but like for right now uh, we are our goal is to build a UI collection view controller um, you oh, sorry UI yeah UI collection view controller UI collection uh, with UI collection cells so uh, let's uh, 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 let's go to um, our class and start working with UI collection view controller. So, and I highly recommend uh, I highly recommend you to uh, make an exact extension extension main con main controller. Uh, and we're going to confirm to you know I can actually view delegate flow layout uh, so it will um, this will allow us to use different sizes uh, and to find sizes for for our um, 
for our uh, UI collection view controller. So, um, and uh, let's create uh, a file. Uh, let's create private variable, private let cell ID. And we'll be search cell ID. So in order to render out like the cells for UI collection view controller, you have to register them and you have to provide a, an ID for cells. So and uh, in um, uh, our view load, um, we're going to uh, we need to register uh, first of all we need to provide title title um, get hub get hub jo jobs API so this is how we're not gonna name our um, app so and now uh, now we're gonna provide background color collection view back, background background color and let's do it um, green for right now it's just so we know we are rendering the correct uh, view controller so um, And let's create um, here. Uh, let's create a new um, new file, and this file will be um, no uh, class. Uh, uh, and this uh, this file will be a UI collection new cell. So you go here, UI collection collection. My collection view cell, and let's say uh, search view cell because we going it's going to display our search results or jobs, but you can name whatever like uh, whatever you like. Honestly, it doesn't really matter that much. So uh, create um, and here. Uh, we need to uh, do init uh, super super init init and with frame frame so and if you wait for a second so uh, Xcode will be yelling at you and you would need to create uh, require initializer so uh, yeah, and like you are down here, and uh, like right here, uh, let's say uh, background color, equal, it will be red. So, so we know our collection view is rendering correctly. So let's uh, let's go here and let's register our UI collection view cell collection view um, register um, it will be our search view cell and an identifier will be a cell ID Uh, so, so, yeah, like you have to provide a self. 
So, uh, and one important thing, you also uh, have to uh, provide um, require initializer for UI collection in controller and I'm going to just copy and paste that code for you so like this is really important so with this code you say you specify that this is uh, uh, that you provide UI collection you lay out so you can specify sizes for your cells so without this piece of code your app won't run unfortunately so okay uh, now uh, for UI collection view controller we need to specify how many cells we want to display uh, and a number, number of item per section so um, and it will return integer and let's return, I like to return 5. So, uh, and we also need to re return uh, UI collection view cell itself. Um, So, uh, UI collection view, uh, UI collection view cell for item in the index path, uh, let's say cell equals uh, collection view uh, the Q reusable cell, um, identifier cell ID for index path, index path. So, and we're gonna say as um, search view cell return uh, cell index path. So Okay, let's uh, check really quick what we have. Like, so we have number per items. We have uh, UI collection view cell. Um, and let's see if it will run. Okay, our build succeed or succeeded. Okay, so like this is a, uh, oh, wait. Uh, this is uh, our uh, UI collection view, but it, it looks nothing like this. So for, uh, to specify the um, size for UI collection view, you actually have to um, you actually have to specify the size um, in a specific method that UI collection view layout provides to you. Um, I think this is a like CG size return. Um, init, uh, width, and height. with a uh, view frame with and we're going to subtract like uh, like 40 and height let's do it like 200 and just see what happens
So like right now, yeah, it looks kind of similar to what we have like right now. Um, and let me see what I have for my original, uh, what, what size I, uh, what size I have for my original app. So it looks approximately the same size. Um, I actually have like minus 20 and close enough. I have like one, uh, 180. So yeah, like that looks pretty close enough. So this is how you build out your basic UI collection view. And it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be it for today's video. So code, I'm gonna send I'm gonna um, attach the link for GitHub repo for this lesson. And uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, basically uh, the uh, all the boiler plates that you have to have to uh, do your UI collection view controller. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.